When astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson nitpicks the bad science in mainstream Hollywood blockbusters, he's not trying to spoil anyone's fun. He's just being a nerd. But one movie in particular got the most of his nerdy attention. Perhaps Tyson's harshest criticism ever was aimed at the 2022 box office bomb Moonfall. Directed by Roland Emmerich, the sci-fi disaster flick stars Halle Berry and Patrick Wilson as a pair of astronauts who are on a casual mission when Wilson's character witnesses a swarm of alien spacecraft. Alas, nobody believes him and he's fired from NASA. A decade later, the two are contacted by a conspiracy theorist played by John Bradley who posits that the moon is an artificially created superstructure and that there's an entire alien civilization inside it. He's also noticed that the moon is falling out of its orbit and will soon begin passing closer and closer to Earth. This does indeed come to pass and eventually the moon gets so close that its gravity begins lifting people off the Earth's surface. Additionally, the three protagonists fly to the moon and find aliens lurking inside. The film is enjoyably dumb and overblown, like many of Roland Emmerich's movies. But Tyson has a different perspective when it comes to this genre. As he once declared on social media, Armageddon violated more laws of physics per minute than any other film in the universe. But then Moonfall came along and took over that honor, or dishonor. As Tyson explained on The Jess Cagle Show, the moon is approaching Earth and they learned that it's hollow. And there's a moon being made out of rocks living inside of it. And the Apollo missions were really to visit and feed the moon being. And I just couldn't. I, so I said, all right, I thought Armageddon had, <laughs> had a secure hold on this crown, but apparently not. Tyson didn't even bother to explain why the physics in Moonfall are wrong. Many of those reasons may seem clear to viewers after all. For one thing, the moon falling to Earth wouldn't allow you to do sick car jumps. But Moonfall and Armageddon are hardly the only movies to ever earn Tyson's ire. For example, he once infamously complained to James Cameron that he got the night sky wrong in Titanic. Tyson knew what the constellations looked like in the North Atlantic on the fateful night that ship sank in 1912, so he suggested that Cameron should use digital trickery to amend that mistake. And he in fact did so for the movie's 3D re-release in 2012. In general, Tyson has a lot to complain about regarding outer space movies. For one thing, audiences have accepted that most sci-fi spacecrafts are equipped with artificial gravity, even though there's no such thing. A ship would need to be laterally spinning to keep its occupants stuck to the floor. And any serious science student would be able to tell you that there's no sound in space, so any blasters and spectacular explosions would actually be silent. But Tyson has admitted that sometimes Hollywood does get it right. He especially loves 2015's The Martian, as it actually explores real physics and practical space travel concerns. He revealed some more movies in a 2024 video on his YouTube channel Star Talk, in which he ranked sci-fi movies based on their accuracy, broad concepts, and philosophy. One movie that Tyson cited positively is The Matrix, despite the impracticality of using human brains as a power source. He also offered high marks for films like Interstellar, Gravity, Arrival, and even The Blob, which he believed featured the most accurate depiction of an alien ever. Just because of how different they imagined that alien to be. It was not a Hollywood actor in a costume. Another of Tyson's favorites is Back to the Future, simply because it's entertaining and well-written. Sure, he could nitpick the science of time travel, but he can also just have fun at the movies. He's not a mere stick in the mud. Instead, he's simply trying to get viewers to read more physics books. 